The minutes of the Monetary Policy Committee meeting showed that the six-member committee is split into three buckets. Uh, the first bucket was those in favor of a tighter monetary policy stance. That bucket still so far held only M Michael Patra, who had voted for a hike in interest rates in the February and in the April policy. Viral Acharya, the minutes show, is leaning in that direction. He, of course, voted for a status quo in the April policy, but he has given a clear indication that he is likely to vote for, quote-unquote, withdrawal of accommodation in the next policy, which comes up in June. The reason uh, he gives is twofold. One, he was watching to see whether the uh, shale gas supply response to higher oil prices allows oil prices to remain below a certain level. He now is not sure that that will be the case because inventories are falling, so he does see elevated risk from higher global oil prices. Uh, the second thing he was watching for in the February policy uh, was uh, the economic recovery domestically to see how strong it was. He now believes uh, that there is a fair amount of momentum in the domestic economy. So keeping those two factors in mind and the need to reinforce the credibility of the inflation targeting regime, uh, Viral Acharya said that he will likely vote for a withdrawal of accommodation in the June policy. That would make two people uh, voting at least for a change in stance, if not a change in interest rates. Michael Patra, of course, continued to vote uh, for a higher rate uh, and he did say uh, that core inflation remains his key worry. Uh, he believes that core inflation pressures would mean uh, that you will see headline inflation remain above the 4% mark. 4% is the midpoint of the MPC's inflation target uh, and Michael Patra does believe that in order to achieve that, in order to reinforce the credibility of the mechanism, uh, you need to take some policy action. So that's the uh, rate hike or at least tighter monetary policy camp. Uh, then there is the next one. Uh, this is the wait and watch camp but those who see seem like they're leaning a little bit towards tighter monetary policy and Governor Urjit Patel falls in that. Now he was very uh, sort of you know watchful in his words so he didn't give any clear indication of which way he's leaning uh, but he did talk about the upside risk to inflation and unlike in the February policy when he said that the economic recovery remains nascent in the April policy minutes uh, he does not use that word so perhaps he too uh, is starting to get a bit more comfortable in the economic recovery and then will start focusing uh, on inflation. Chetan Ghate who's an external member uh, gave out a long analysis citing his own research suggesting uh, that the higher MSP could lead to higher inflation uh, over almost a six quarter, six, seven quarter period and it could feed into generalized inflation. That together with the higher global oil prices he thinks could add a structural element uh, to the upside risk to inflation. So he also seems like he's a little bit more worried on that count but they're still in the uh, flashing orange bucket if we can call it that. Then are the other two members, Pamidua and Ravindra Dholakia, they are also in the wait and watch camp, but they seem to be leaning towards a delayed interest rate hike uh, trajectory uh, because uh, Ravindra Dholakia in the minute said that he believes that they will make uh, the 4% inflation uh, target within the next 12 months. And Pami Dua uh, said uh, that the economic recovery remains lackluster. All in all, the tone of the minutes was a little tougher on inflation than the monetary policy itself had suggested because remember, the policy actually had cut the inflation target, which led a lot of people to believe that there will be a prolonged pause on interest rates. Does that remain the case? Uh, the bond market's verdict uh, on Friday will be important.